There are now calls for more stringent controls to stop possums attacking a huge rata and others in the Akatarawa forest in Wellington. Lisa Davies has the story. Up close, it's hard to believe that this is a tree, but these men are nestled in the boughs of our largest known rata. It stretches to the lofty height of 39 metres. This tree is a real taonga. You know, some of these giant rata are, are almost a metre wider than Tani Mahuta, our uh, iconic Cody tree. He's worried the tree and surrounding rata won't survive the onslaught of predators, with the last Wellington Regional Council possum control operation conducted seven years ago. I've been up into the canopy of this tree and I've seen the possum damage. Throughout the bush, you can see the, the seedlings, you can see the juvenile trees all eaten to death by possums. He says to preserve the forest, the council needs to find money for a possum control operation every three years. But in a statement, the council says it's aware of the importance of the giant rata. It's been monitoring possum numbers and an aerial 1080 operation will be required soon. But the date is unknown, as they've applied to the government for more pest control funding. That's not enough for Jeff Reed. Just last week, he saw West Coast Forest around Lake Brunner announced as the latest of seven predator-free projects to receive millions in government funding and regional council money. And there'll be control done right across it, getting rid of the possums as the first step. The self-appointed protector of the Akatarawa giant rata forest would like something similar here. One single possum can kill one of these giant rata trees in, you know, two or three years. They're up there all night, chewing away, and we can't afford to let these trees die on our watch. Trees that have stood proud for over 1,000 years. Lisa Davies, One News.